An historic Auckland soup kitchen has reinvented itself as a stylish community cafe with a difference. The Merge Cafe is acting as a training ground for the homeless, giving them a pathway off the streets. Amy Kelly went to have a look. Today it's Steve's beef schnitzel that has them coming in droves. Another happy customer. Kay Rhodes Merge Cafe is the new mealtime hangout for Auckland's homeless, a far cry from the old soup kitchen down the street. The food was probably a little bit more simplistic. Uh, some of the clients got a little bit bored with it, but now we treat them like the normal public. Meaning sitting at your own table, choosing what to eat. One of the things that comes with homelessness is a lack of choice and lack of opportunity. It's about giving people back dignity and respect. Set up with funds raised by October's Big Sleep Out, which saw CEOs sponsored to sleep at Rough, the cafe caters to the general public as well as the homeless. With a plate like this costing just $3, there have been few complaints about the decision to charge, but anyone who simply can't afford it can volunteer their time in the kitchen for a free feed. They're not going to come away from here as gourmet chefs, but I will show them the basics, uh, right down from knife skills, basic preparation, food safety and hygiene. The cafe is also working with Auckland's University of Technology to help trainees get hospitality qualifications. We're giving them the opportunity, the skills and the knowledge to create a career, you know, get permanent employment. And get off the street, just like kitchen hand Hayley Hatter. I never thought I'd be able to cook for so many people. It's a chance for me to learn some skills and move on and give somebody else a chance. A chance Steve hopes the homeless will soon be lining up for, just as they do his tucker. Amy Kelly, One News. We have much more ahead this news hour, including the net closing in on the WikiLeaks founder who's defiantly hiding in the United Kingdom. Two pensioners die in their gardens as Britain's deep freeze continues. And why one of our iconic mountains is under attack.